Thank you for checking out this video. Um, so I don't really know what to call this in particular. It's not really the monthly shutter updates that I've been doing where they kind of give it to you like within the, the last week of the month prior, like what movies and uh, originals and exclusives are going to be going on to shutter. Uh, they just kind of sent out a, um, a press release kind of giving information about here's a bunch of things that are going to be available during the month of October, just kind of getting everyone ready for Halloween and just the month of October because all of us horror fans just love to watch horror movies year-round, but even more intensely in the month of October, myself included. I actually do make sure I do at least 31 movies throughout the month of October. I think last year I got to like 35, so I want to see what I can get to. Um, but my feeling of why they sent this out in particular is, is two reasons. One, I think it's to hype up Creepshow a little bit more, which comes out, I believe, the 26th. Let me see. Yeah, um, Thursday, Octo or, sorry, Thursday, September 26th. So that'll be available in October. And I believe they're doing it where they're releasing one episode each week, each Thursday, kind of like they're doing with the show Nosferatu that they have up there. They're doing the same thing. And I believe that's also on Thursdays that they're doing the release. The other thing is for... I'm not going to give it away, but I'm going to talk about it. I mean, I'll talk about it on this video, but I'm going to talk about it at the end because it's the last thing in the press release. And I think that that in particular is the the main reason that they sent this out. It's kind of like a hint at what's to come. And I know some people watching this right now, their minds are already going. So let me go through this real quick. So they plugged their Creep Show series like I was talking about. Don't really need to go too much into it. If you want to know about it, go back and uh, watch my um, video doing what's coming to Shudder in September because I talked about some stuff in there. Uh, as far as I know, like I was saying, there's going to be one episode each Thursday, and each episode is going to have two separate stories. The first one's going to have a story from Stephen King and one from Josh Mallerman. Um, I might get early access to at least that first episode, in which case I will do a pre-release, uh, no spoilers review, but we'll see about that. Then they put on here, I hadn't heard about this yet, uh, they're going to have a new season of Channel Zero, which I believe is exclusive to them. Uh, if people didn't know, it was a sci-fi show originally for the first three seasons, I believe, uh, and that's available for streaming on Shutter right now. So it looks like they're doing a fourth season which is good because I haven't watched three, but I watched one and two and I enjoyed them and I plan on watching three. So this one, this season's going to be called The Dream Door and that's going to be available October 10th. And it says, based on the creepypasta short story Hidden Door by Charlotte Bywater, Channel Zero The Dream Door follows newlyweds Jillian and Tom who have each brought secrets into their marriage. When they discover a strange door in their basement, those secrets start to threaten their relationship and their lives. Da -da -da. Ooh, Barbara Crampton is in it. Oh, and Steven Weber. I like him. Uh, and Steven Robertson. I don't know who that is. Directed by E.L. Katz. Don't really know much about him, but that sounds like a cool premise. I really like that idea. And Barbara Crampton's in it, and I will support anything she does because I like her. She's a cool person. Uh, they put on here their show Nosferatu, which has been on there. Like I said, they're releasing one each Thursday. I think they have like three or four episodes out at the moment. I haven't started watching it yet, but I do plan to do that soon. Movies, uh, they're going to have one cut of The Dead. They don't have a release date for this one, but I guess any anywhere between now and the end of October, they'll have it up. It says TBD. Uh, while shooting a low-budget single-take zombie movie, the crew find themselves caught between actual zombies and a mad d director who won't stop rolling. If you think you know what happens next in the surprising zombie comedy, think again. I believe this is Japanese or South Korean. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, then they have also to be announced when the release date is Tigers Are Not Afraid, a haunting horror fairy tale set against the backdrop of Mexico's devastating drug wars. Tigers Are Not Afraid follows a group of orphaned children armed with three magical wishes, running from the ghosts that haunt them and the cartel that murdered their parents. That sounds interesting. I do want to check that out. Um, so that, so it's interesting because when I was doing my, uh, video on what's coming to Shudder in September, they had two slots of movies to be announced and they have to be announced for One Cut of the Dead and Tigers Are Not Afraid. So I wonder if those are the two things that are going to fit into those slots. Uh, now they have Be Beelze Beelzebuth, 
which is currently streaming, which I actually have watched when I'm doing this, and it's not going to be released super soon, but not this coming Sunday, but like the Sunday after that, I think I'm going to release it. Um, so watch for that. Shocking deaths on the U.S.-Mexico border lead a special agent toward an ancient demon starring Tobin Bell and by Emilio Portes. Um, I won't say too much. I was in the middle on it. I liked it. Liked things about it. Didn't like things about it. Tobin Bell was really good in it, but wait for my review. Uh, incident in a ghost land. This is also available currently. A mother of two is confronted with murderous intruders on the first night in their new home and fights for her daughter's lives. 16 years later, when the daughters reunite at the house, things get really strange. Okay. Don't see any people I know in this, but it's directed by, by Pascal Laguier. That is very, very interesting. I believe it was... Yeah, it's Pascal Laguier who did the original Martyrs movie, actually. So I definitely need to check that out. I wasn't aware that he directed this film. I'd, see, I'd seen it on Shudder, but I didn't really like look at it closely. So now I know i got to check it out, because Laguier, if anyone's seen the French version of Martyrs, oh my gosh, unbelievable. It is ridiculously brutal, but it is a very good film. So if you can make it through, it's worth it. Uh, the Wrath, which I already put up a review for, I got a advance, um, I got advance access for it uh, from Shutter. Thank you very much. My review is already available. Look at my channel. Uh, when a curse kills the sons of the king's kingdom's highest ranking official, a pregnant widow must face both a vengeful spirit and vicious family politics. In this remake of 1986 Korean horror essential, Woman's Wail by Young Sun Yu. Uh, definitely check out that review. Once again, a few things not so great about it, but some really awesome things about it. Um, so look at my review. That one is available starting tomorrow when I'm putting this video out. Hell House LLC 3 Lake of Fire. This is coming out September 19th. In the final installment, guests both past and present will be forced to battle for their souls as all is revealed about the infamous abandoned hotel and the evil that dwells there. I don't know if I'm going to check this one out. I haven't seen the first or second one. Um, I am going to check it out at some point. I've heard the first one people really like. The second one people are like, eh. So I don't know how the third one will be. But I'll check them out. Uh, the Furies uh, comes out October 3rd. Rebellious high school students Kayla and her best friend Maddie find themselves abducted by a sinister presence and stalked along with six other women by men in terrifying masks. Interesting. Uh, note, The Furies will be in theaters in its home country of Australia on November 7th. So it's actually coming to the Shutter streaming service before it's going to theaters where it's made. That's kind of crazy. I mean, good for Shudder to get that, but that sounds interesting. I'd like to check that out. Gwen, this one is coming out the 17th of October. In this stark and atmospheric tale, Gwen is a young girl struggling with her mother's mysterious illness her father's absence, and the suspicious local community that is turned on them. Somehow, Gwen must find the strength to guide her family through the darkness and overcome the evil that is taking grip of her home. Okay. Yeah. Sounds interesting enough. Might check that one out. Haunt. This one is coming out the 24th of October. From producer Eli Roth, love Eli Roth, and the writers of A Quiet Place, also like A Quiet Place, on Halloween, a group of friends encounter an extreme haunted house that promises to feed on their darkest fears. The night turns deadly as they come to the horrifying realization that some nightmares are real. Okay. by uh, It doesn't say who... Dir oh, directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods. Sounds interesting. I will check that one out. Uh, this one I'm, I'm very excited about because I like Mick Garris and these types of films. It's an anthology film. Glad to see Shutter's getting this one because I really want to check it out. Coming out Tuesday, October 29th, Nightmare Cinema, a new anthology movie featuring segments from the acclaimed directors of Gremlins, Black Mirror Bandersnatch, The Stan miniseries, The Midnight Meat Train, and One of the Dead, starring Mickey Rourke. He's in there. Uh, directed by Alejandro Bruget, uh, Joe Dante, Mick Garris, Ryuai Kitamura, and David Slade good directors um i'm interested then they have this thing about their ghoul log i didn't see the ghoul log they have ghoul log and son of ghoul log i guess it's kind of like 
you know, like those fireplaces that people have for winter time that you can just throw up on a, through a streaming service just on your TV and just have them up, and they just run. Fan favorite, The Ghoul Log is back, accompanied by an all-new, creepier sequel. Set the mood for your Halloween festivities with Shudder's 24-7 feed of a candlelit jack-o'-lantern, accompanied by spooky night noises that does for Halloween what the Yule Log video does for Christmas. I'm going to throw that one up at some point. Actually, I'll try both of them out, actually, at some point. It says coming soon, so it's I guess it's not available right now, but will be available at some point between now and and the end of October, that's kind of cool to just kind of have on in the background while you're doing things around the house. I'll probably do that. And now we come to the big thing, the thing that I believe was the whole reason they were putting this out. It says a special Halloween treat on the 25th of October that you'll want to stay up for late. Details coming soon. Now, a lot of us are saying at this moment, that's got to be last drive-in Joe Bob Briggs, okay? Most likely it is. And when I'm uh, putting this out, I saw on Twitter that Joe Bob Briggs had tweeted some of this information, uh, and he tweeted that little teaser and said, gee, I wonder what that could be. So very strong indicator that that's what it's going to be. Joe Bob will be back on the 25th, most likely. So that is awesome. Uh especially in the month of October. Now, the big question is, is it going to be the kickoff of his new season of The Last Drive-In, and it's the first episode of a double feature, or is it going to be one of the marathons? Because he had said in an article recently that they were going to do some more marathons. So this could be a marathon, or this could be the beginning of the season. I don't know. Um, but that's the last thing I have to say about this. Please, everyone, weigh in on your thoughts. Put some comments down there, especially about the Joe Bob thing. Do you think it's going to be a marathon, or do you think it's going to be the kickoff to his season two? I kind of think it's actually going to be a marathon, and then his season will kick off maybe early next year or something. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to be happy with it. I love Joe Bob's stuff, and I love how he brings these cool, uh, cheesy, and awesome, and obscure films to all of us viewers. So uh, thank you everyone for checking this out. Do me that favor, hit the subscribe. I really appreciate that. Keeps me going with these. Like I said, put some comments down there. Give me a like if you really want to, but the subscribe is what really, really matters. Thank you Shudder for doing everything you do. You guys are awesome. And until next time, keep it brutal.